So you got Touch Portal installed, you're excited, you set up your first deck, and then it hits you. How do I do animated buttons? How do I do buttons that change depending on whether I've clicked them or not, or whether something in my program has been activated or deactivated? Or maybe you got a Philips Hue set up and you want them to change depending on maybe the color you set up. Well, I've got solutions to part of those problems, and it's actually something I found out just very recently, and I want to share it with you. I found two ways to make buttons react to uh, different circumstances. The first one being a scene change in OBS. So it shows you what scene you got activated just at a glance. And the second one being whether you've clicked another button and you want your previous button to change depending on that. So let's get into it. So here I have my touch portal set up. This is the one that I use for recording. And here we have my four scenes to make your buttons react to a scene change in OBS. So let's start by creating a new page. We're gonna call this guide. And here is our new page and we're gonna create a couple of buttons here. The first one is going to be, for my case, I want it to be my camera source and I'll just remove the transparent background. So this source is going to select this scene, my camera. So let's go down here and let's choose set scene. And for my case, it's one dot camera full screen. So now all that this button is going to do, oops, uh, one moment. There we go. I just had to create a little button there so you can actually get into your page. Which is done just by go to page and then you select the page in touch portal. So now we got all that set up. Let's get back into the guide. So if I choose the camera now. We go over to my camera. But first of all, we want a button that can select one of our other scenes so we can switch between them. So let's create another button and let's call this monitor. Since we're, I'm switching between my camera and my monitor. So we're going to choose set scene and three dot monitor full screen. This is just what I've named my scenes in OBS. Yours will have a completely different name. So now we've got two buttons here. We got camera and we got monitor and I can switch between them. But as you can see, they don't animate, they just switch my scene. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go in to camera and go into on event. And here we're going to select on scene selected. And let's see which one was the, this was the camera. We're going to want one with just the select scene. Do not push the, uh, push this yet. We want to save that and then we're going to another one where we choose when not selected scene camera so when anything else then camera is selected this will run and now we're going to want to go up to visuals and choose change button visuals and let's say we want to change the background color to let's put in this color or whatever. No, there. Let's say we do this when it is activated so we can see that it has lit up like, um, like a lamp. And then we're going to need another one to change it back to whatever color, to our default color when it's not activated. So let's just take this color here and there. You can also go in and, you know, set a title like recording or something you can do whatever you want here i have mine to change my icons as well but let's just do this for the moment so let's save this and when we touch it now you see it lit up and when we go over to monitor it uh, goes dark 
So that is the first way you can do it. You can have it um, on OBS scene changes. But now the second one is almost my favorite because th this one we just did now is specific to OBS. The second one we're going to do, you can do with whatever you want. This is a universal. I, You can do it, but I wouldn't recommend it for OBS scene switching, this second solution. But you can, if you want to. So let's create a button here. And what do we want this to do? You know what? Let's just copy these two. Let's just copy it and paste them down here. Paste button. And let's clear all of this. On E. Oops. Ready. So now we got two more buttons here. And they don't do nothing. So let's go into this one and no, sorry, let's go into monitor. Now, this is a really, really powerful little tool I, I found out. Uh, we're going to need to go into camera first. You see this down here, button logic setup. The ID, copy the ID, save, and then go into your other button and under logic, choose change button state by ID. Now, we're going to want this to set to be off because when we push the monitor button, our camera scene is inactive. So paste in the ID. Now, what this is going to do is then when, we, when you push this button here, it's going to switch this button to be off. And we go on event and under logic in our second button, we choose when button state changes. Let's say we change this to on. We're also going to want to put in a change button state to on when we press it. So we change it to on and then we go into visuals, change button visuals. And let's say we change the background color to be this color. Amazing. I got it right. Second, we want another change button state and another visuals. You guessed it right. So let's just put in something there. Now, this is going to be really cool because watch what happens now. Choose monitor, then we choose camera. And why didn't it work? There we go. It just takes a couple of clicks to, to update itself. But when I choose monitor, that thing shuts off. And when I press it, it goes white. It's a little snappier than if you do the scene select in OBS. But since it, Touch Portal has this integration into OBS, I think, why not use it? So now you know how to create buttons that react to uh, button state changes and OBS scene switching and you can do this for a whole host of different things like just let me show you what I have set up here in this button now this is a completely different setup because I could not figure out another way to do this but this is actually let's say it as a bonus it's a third way third way of doing it we have a if state that checks when this button is off and all this is happening when I press it. So it checks, checks if the button state is off and it starts recording and it changes the button state to on and then it does the visual change, you see it with the icon. And if the button state is on, it just skips all of this and goes down to else and it stops OBS recording, switches off the button state and it returns the button to its neutral position you might say neutral look and then it just ends so touch portal is super powerful when it comes to these things so i have these four react to my scene switching that one reacts to whenever i click it and so do those two Th that one and those two are copies so touch portal is just so super powerful if 
you when you figure if you just experiment with it and find out things it is so ridiculously super powerful but that's all for me for today i thank you all for watching i'll see you next time